what is up okay last video last q a video before i get out on trail um thank you for all the questions everybody i'm super excited i'm super excited to get out um not sure how many people are going to be out on my start date uh since it's, it's an earlier start date and even though 50 people uh, are supposed to be leaving a day um, when I went in 2018 uh, and it, tw 2019 as well you don't see many people out there even though there's 50 spots available um, I never started with 50 people <laughs> uh, throughout the day so we'll see how many people are actually out there um, I'm excited to get out and meet new people AJW asks, would you be willing to talk about hitching in an upcoming video? I've never done it and I'm a little nervous. Not so much about the people, but the actual process itself. Thanks for the video. Okay, so um, yeah, hitching is a little nerve wracking for anybody who's never hitched before, especially if, you know, it's your first time hitching and you're alone. That's really nerve wracking. Um, I remember in 2018 when I hitched for the first time, I was, where was I? Jeez, 2018 was such a long time ago. It's crazy how time like flies by. Um, I am finally got it. Uh, I was actually hitching with uh, like four other girls on the PCT. I met a lot of people out in 2018. so. I was lucky to have my first hitch with a big group and I never had to worry about hitching alone that year. But um, I've hiked several trails after uh, over the years and I've hitched alone a lot. And um, I would be lying if I would say that, uh, that I haven't run into some bad hitches because I have. Um, Definitely make sure you take a picture of their license plate when you get, you know, when they stop for you. Take a picture of the license plate immediately. Send it to somebody you know, um, like anybody, <laughs> literally anybody. Just send the picture just in case. Um, and then I like to have my Garmin. So I'll, if I have my Garmin, I'll take the Garmin off the pack and I'll have it in my hand. Uh, so like if I take have my pack in the back of the truck or I have the pack in um, in the back seat and I'm in the front, I always just take it off. And um, this is if I'm alone. If I'm alone hitching, I do this. Um, yeah, so I'll just have my Garmin and take the picture. Obviously, send it send it to a friend. Um, because there are bad people out there. I've had some pretty bad hitches. In 2018, uh, I had a creep <laughs> uh, keep asking if I wanted to go to a hotel room with him. I luckily got out and immediately, I didn't tell him where in town to drop me off. I just said, hey, just drop me off at this um, uh, grocery store. And then I just stood, stayed in there for a while and then went to my hotel room. Um, yeah, no, th there's definitely some sketchy people out there, uh, and I'm lucky that I haven't had anything bad happen to me, uh, other than I got in the car, if you guys watched my last video of the CDT, I'll post it up above, um, yeah, I got in the car, f uh, this guy offered a ride, and I got in, he seemed fine, but immediately after he started driving off, I smelled the alcohol on his breath, and yeah, he was swerving, speeding all over the place, and when he pulled over, it's he seemed fine, but he wasn't, so oh, it's a gamble, <laughs> it's a gamble, it really is when you get a hitch, um, so that, that case, I had a bad case there, and then in Florida, oh my goodness, uh, this guy, yeah, I'm just glad that I was able to get out of the car. He was going 70 miles an hour. I was being groped. I was like, 
yelling at him to please let me out of the car. Um, yeah, I was lucky then also. Um, yeah, it's the gamble with hitching and um, I definitely recommend, I don't want to scare you guys with these stories. I'm giving all the bad stories, but I've hitched hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times and I um, only had, you know, a handful of bad hitches. And um, yeah, so don't don't listen to those. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm scaring you, but uh, I just wanted to make it known that there are bad people out there and you need to take a picture of their license plate. You need to have a Garmin to get help or uh, pepper spray or, um, just something, something so you can, that people know you're, you're going with this person. So make sure you have a Garmin or you take a picture of their license plate. Um, other than that, it's <laughs> hitching, the, the act of hitching itself is long and boring sometimes. Um, so like you'll get out to a road and you know, it's either you're going left or you're going right. So you'll, if you're going, a certain direction you want to be on the same side uh of the road as uh the like the direction you want to go so the cars could pull over you don't want to be on the opposite side trying to go the opposite way so make sure you're on the right side of the road put your thumb out dance a little bit uh that you know having a smile always helps um my friend uh when we were hitching was behind me and would like cross his arms and like put out a thumb like you know you want to be open so don't have like body language actually changes things you want to be open and free and make happy and joyful um, so yeah just don't be closed off because that will uh make it less likely to get a hitch so yeah it's 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 honestly not a hard thing to do. Uh, it's kind of fun sometimes. Um, and the people that you meet along the way are awesome. I've met so many awesome, sweet people who have helped me um, get from trailhead to town or town to trailhead. And I'm so thankful. Um, yeah, I named off, you know, a few bad rides, but I can name off hundreds and hundreds of awesome people that I met. And so don't don't let those those few that I um, named off um, scare you away from hitching. Please don't. Um, just be cautious. Make sure to send a picture of the license, and if you can, have a Garmin with you. Um, yeah, no, hitching's it's okay thing, and also it's easier for girls to get hitches. Uh, Sadly, uh, guys, it's a lot harder for guys. That's why uh, some of the guys that I was hiking with were like so thankful that I was there sometimes. Um, yeah, no, like the guys would hide sometimes and I would be out on the road and then they'd run out when I'd get a hitch and they're like, what? You scammed me. That's Somebody actually said that, that I scammed them because a whole bunch of guys showed up after <laughs> after um I got the hitch um but yeah no hitching is it's it's fun <laughs> all right hope I answered that good enough <laughs> uh Sarah Green asked I'd like to know how you feel about wildfires potentially ruining your hike do you have any alternative alternative plans or do you plan to just hop around the best you can the closer it gets the more I believe there's a good chance I'll be going home early. If I do, I'm heading off north in my state to hike the Superior Hiking Trail, but I'm hoping I won't have to do that. Yeah, so um, this year, as of right now, it looks like it's not going to be a high snow year, um, but things could always change. There could be lots and lots of storms coming up in the next few months, um, so we'll have to see. Uh, so as of right now, it looks pretty good and I'm just going to go for it. And if the weather continues like it is going right now, I could probably, my start date's probably fine and I could just walk through the Sierra. 
um, just obviously watching the weather when I go through. Uh, but yeah, right now the weather and the trail conditions look fine as of right now. Uh, and that means it's going to be a dry year. Um, so having an earlier start date this year might be the better thing. Um, but like I said, it could always change. Um, but having an early start and being able to push through and beat the fires, it would be the great thing. So maybe this year, a later start date isn't a good thing. Um, because the fires will begin and you won't be able to go through. So I'm, I'm just watching it closely. You know, uh, once I get on trail, I'll still watch it closely. Uh, look at the snow reports. Maybe I'll put some of the reports right here so you could see or um, a link down in the description for post holer and you could see the conditions of the snow. Um, they change it, they update it all the time. So it's, it's an awesome source um, that I've been watching uh, very closely. So yeah, I think if I get stuck in the fires, I'm just going to keep walking. I'm going to walk around it. I'm just going to walk around. If if um, I can't get through, I'll walk around to get to the next section of trail that is open. Uh, but yeah, I depending on your start date or where you're at when the fires start, you know, I did that in 2018. I got off trail and hiked the Camino de Santiago because the fires were just so bad. And I tried to flip, but the fires were bad up there and it was just a little crazy. So I went into the Camino. So yeah, you doing the superior hiking trail, uh, the fires are bad. Go do it. You know, like don't, don't push through something. And I, I know it's hard because you dreamed of the PCT for so long and then you're out there and you, you just, you want to finish it, but sometimes it's not enjoyable so if you're not enjoying it if the fires are bad and you're stuck in it go do the superior hiking trail come back to the pct uh, be come back in good good conditions you know um so yeah no i think i'm i'm just watching the conditions right now the trail and it all just depends i will walk through uh walk around the fire closures if it's bad so Okay, next question. Um, Jenny22, hi Daisy, how do you figure out where and when to send a resupply box? And about how much do you send so it's not too much? Thanks for the videos and have fun. Okay, so um, I have an app, uh, most, almost every hiker out on the PCT, the AT, the CDT, all have uh, the Far Out app. I almost said gut hook app because that's what um, it used to be called. They changed the name. It's called Far Out and it's an awesome app. It shows you everything. It shows you every mile. Um, it shows you the water sources, the uh, town, where you where to resupply in town. Um, yeah, no, it's a great source and that's where I find all my information. Um, I'll just go through, study, and know, look at the mileage and know when I'm going to be getting off. And by looking at the mileage, so like say I get to um, mile 77 on the PCT. Mile 77 is a resupply stop. Uh, you hitch into Julian and get food there. Um, so say I... Say I was doing 20 mile days. I would have to do four and a half, five days of food. Um, it's just, it all depends on your mileage. Okay, let's see. I think this is the last question. Um, yeah. Uh, L Pedro 80 how good are you on digging cat holes? I imagine the terrain isn't always that easy with all the roots and rocks to dig a hole within specifications of a trail certified cat hole. Um, yeah, so 
sometimes it's super hard because the terrain is hard to dig a hole in, but I always find a rock or a, um, a stick to dig the holes and My dog, Dexter, is very noisy, husky. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, so six to eight inches and... And away from um, the trail, uh, from campsites and from water so 200 feet you want to be that's about 80 steps away from all of those um yeah so when you dig in a cat hole away from those six to eight inch, inches deep and pack out your toilet paper what is going on with my dog i am sorry um but yeah so yeah i just dig 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 that's all you gotta do um yeah so, yeah, I hope I answered the questions. Uh, good for you guys. And if not, message me. Uh, yeah, I, I'm excited because time is ticking down and I'm going to be out on trail soon. Um, I'm super excited to go live at the border uh, for Patreons and channel members. I'm not exactly sure what time of day because... Um, I don't know what time I'm going to be going out there. Uh, my ride, I my dad's going to take me. I'm not sure what time he's going to want to drive out. I'm sure it'll be early in the morning. Um, we'll see. Um, but yeah, super soon. Super excited. And I'm ready to get sharing the trail with all of you. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Real soon, I won't be talking from this this house anymore. I will be talking from the trail. Um, I'm I'm excited, so let's do this. And I think I'm gonna take my dog for a walk because he is antsy. <laughs> Dexter, you wanna say hi to everybody? Come on. I'll give you a treat. Come up. Come on, you lazy butt. Dexter, he says, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> he's doing good. Um, he's been a bad boy eating some things. Uh, huskies have that issue. So I definitely need to try to stop him from eating all of our shoes. Um, yeah, that's the issue as of right now. But yeah, thank you for watching and thank you all for the support. Uh, trail soon. Woo woo.